It was a constant theme of the Donald Trump campaign, a promise to get tough on China and make nice with Russia. Now that he's won, he says he will do just that in the Oval Office, defending his move to talk to the president of Taiwan. I fully understand the one China policy, but I don't know why we have to be bound by a one China policy unless we make a deal with China, having to do with other things, including trade. I mean, look, we're being hurt very badly by China with devaluation, with uh, taxing us heavy at the borders when we don't tax them, with building a massive fortress in the middle of the South China Sea, which they shouldn't be doing, and frankly, with not helping us at all with North Korea. In this interview, he once again disputed reports that Russian officials hacked Democratic emails in an attempt to help him win the presidency, and he defended his reported pick for Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, the CEO of ExxonMobil, who is close to Russian President Vladimir Putin. But senators from his own party say they're concerned. I believe that Vladimir Putin is a thug and a bully and a murderer, and uh, I will believe that the relationship between Mr. Tillerson and Vladimir Putin needs to be examined. Once in office, Trump can't stop Congress from holding hearings, and he'll need the Senate to approve his cabinet picks. But again, members of his own party say he's in for a fight, especially if he follows through and appoints former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. John Bolton to be Deputy Secretary of State. I do know that John Bolton doesn't get it. He still believes in regime change. He's still a big cheerleader for the Iraq war. He's promoted a nuclear attack by Israel on Iran. He wants to do regime change in Iran. So I think John Bolton is so far out of it and has such a naive understanding of the world. Donald Trump won in large part because he promised to fight official Washington. Now seeing signs, many of them plan to fight back. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.